clever. And I'm Monty Torres. A ballot box and a thousand blank ballots stolen from the home of a poll worker. Could it have made a difference? Supporters of gay marriage claim a victory in the Senate. We'll have a live discussion on this controversial issue. And Today, lawmakers rejected legislation that would have banned same-sex marriage. But conservative Republicans think they might be able to get the necessary two-thirds majority in the next couple of years. Monty Torres is on the set with a live roundtable discussion on this controversial issue. Judy, today's Senate vote was 49-48-4. Now, 67 votes is what it would have taken to begin the process of amending the Constitution to declare marriage as strictly between a man and a woman. A last-minute push by President Bush failed to make up the difference, but supporters say they'll be back. They will try again. Joining me now is Mr. Fred Vanderhoof. He is the vice chairman for the Fresno County Republican Party. Also with me is Mr. Chris Jarvis. He's an online columnist for Gay Fresno. Do you think they really will bring this up again? Should they? Chris, I take it you'd say no. Uh, no, I think they'll bring it up again, definitely. I, I didn't think they'd bring it up again after the last failure, but I think they will probably do it again. It all depends on who's in power at the time, but I see it coming back. And do you think they should? No, I don't think they should. I think that, you know, uh, at this stage of the game in 2006 in America, that, uh, you know, we should all be able to marry who we want to marry. And I think one thing uh, the gay community never really understands is what the threat is that they keep talking about to traditional marriage. Mr. Vanderhoof, can you respond to that? Um, you know, uh, this is really about the family, about our kids. What, what is our most important natural resource? It's our children. I've got five kids of my own, and right. I'm a public school, public school teacher. And, uh, you know, what, what, is the, what is the structure for, for raising kids? What's the, uh, uh, the training ground? And it's, it's uh, marriage between a man and a woman. And the Republican Party understands this, and President Bush understands this. He has two daughters. And so this is extremely important. Um, Chief Justice Earl Warren, Warren former mm -hmm. Supreme Court uh, Justice, said marriage is, the fundamental, marriage is fundamental to our very existence and survival. So it's an extremely important issue. And I think the American people understand that. 60, uh, average of 71 percent, um, 19 states, soon to be 27 states, have, uh, have, have agreed. Well, Kansas Senator uh, Sam Brabeck today reportedly said that 45 of 50 states have already passed state laws defining marriages between a man and a woman. So there's every reason to believe that it will uh, gain some traction both in the Senate. And apparently, if that is true and those statistics are true, there are a lot of people out there who do think that there is a, d a threat to traditional marriage. Was that, uh, did that uh, Mr. Vanderhoof uh, laid out? Well, I think they do. People definitely think there's a threat, but. Um Again, the threat is often defined as uh, the marriage is the structure for a family for raising children, but there are a lot of gay couples that have children now and are raising children, and, and it hasn't proven to be detrimental to the children at all. At all. Then, then and it, well, the, the real thing is that it doesn't threaten traditional marriage. We're not trying to take anything away from traditional marriage. We're just trying to get the same equal civil rights in America. Mr. Radehoff? It, it definitely uh, threatens uh, traditional marriage. There's, there's, no, there's no question, and that's why 71% uh, of the people... Uh, in, in all these states uh, agree that, it, that it, it is a threat. I think the reason 71% of the people agree is because the gay people have been prejudiced against for a, a very long time and it's going to take a while to get it out of the system. I, I disagree. I don't think gay people have been prejudiced against at all. Uh, uh, I think, and, and there was a, a study in, in uh, uh, another country uh, uh, that, that indicates that uh, uh, gay marriage is, is not helpful for, for children. And, um, and uh, I, I think that the, the best foundation for society, and not only now, but down through history, uh, the Roman civilization, Greek civilization, mm -hmm. the best foundation is marriage between a man and a woman. And we've recognized that in this country ever since the Constitution. That doesn't mean at some point we can't evolve in this country and learn to accept other people on the same terms. It doesn't mean that just because something has been held as tradition for a very long time that we have to never let anybody else into it. Right, well, we, we really are not trying to threaten traditional marriage in any way. We're not when you say it threatens tra traditional marriage, what you're trying to say is that something's going to happen to traditional marriage, and it's not. You'll still be able to get married, you'll still be able to have children, and so will we. Uh, I disagree. There's, there's, uh, this comes to the, what President Bush said. Uh, uh, activist judges are redefining traditional marriage, and uh, so there, there is a threat. And it's, uh, the, the people uh, have voted, like Prop 22 mm -hmm. in, in uh, California, of uh, 60 some percent agree that it should be between a man and a woman. But then we have activist judges and certain legislators. State legislators. Who, who, state legislators. Well, the mayor of San Francisco, mm -hmm. Gavin Newsom, who, who say that, no, it should be redefined. And so the, the people do one thing, but then the, just a few 
uh, handpicked judges say something like But calling them activist judges simply because they're looking at the Constitution and deciding that it might be unconstitutional to not allow gay people to marry does not make them activist judges. It just makes them make groundbreaking decisions at this point in our history. Well, there are some also critics of this who would wonder on the timing of the issue. They think that there might be political reasons for it. Um, and you probably heard both the arguments on this, that is it has something to do with perhaps with the president's low poll numbers? Does it have something to do with building a conservative base before the November elections? What do you say to that? No, I, you know, President Bush, as I said, has two two daughters of his own. He's, he believes with his whole heart that this is important. He said uh, in the two, 2004 election that, that he would do this, and he's kept his promise. He feels that marriage is extremely important, as do uh, Catholics, that the Vatican, the Pope, just, just weighed in on this. And he says it's, right. it's extremely important. Protestants do, Jews. Right. Um, uh, Hispanics, African Americans, it's across the board. Chris Jarvis, final 20 seconds. Last I word. think gay people think marriage is just as important as you do, and that's why we're trying to get it. All right, Chris Jarvis, Fred Redu, thank you for joining us. Jadine, back to you. All right, Monty, nice job.